Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a soft, smoky eye look. I did this, a look similar to this, in a video a few weeks ago, and I had some people request to do a tutorial on it, so here it is, and I thought it'd be a great um, alternative to those of you that wanna try a smoky eye, but you're not really wanting to go like far, far smoky, you're real edgy. This is very wearable, um, suitable for day or night, whatever. You know, it's totally my style. Like wearable, easy to do, polished. Um, so we're gonna start with foundation first and it's the Clay de Peau Cream Foundation that I'm using today. I pulled this out recently. I haven't used this in a while because I often found it was too oily for me, but my skin seems to not be um, reacting to it in the way that like it doesn't get very shiny when I wear it. And especially now that it's a little bit colder, I've really been loving this. I have it in the shade I-10, I think it's I-10 or 110. The, the shade 10. Basically, I think it's almost the lightest shade. So I'm using my Beauty Blender because recently I've just been like reaching for it every day. I kind of, you know, I have so many foundation brushes that I really love and that I've recommended before, but you know, sometimes I go through phases and I'm in the Beauty Blender phase. So that's what I'm using. I found that, you know, pulling out some foundations that I haven't really loved in the past and kind of breathing new life into them with my Beauty Blender. That's what I found my Beauty Blender does for me is it really helps to take foundations that are maybe too cakey or just weren't working for me and it really helps to make it so much smoother and um, a foundation that I end up loving. I think maybe that was the case with this one. Not that it was very cakey. It did get a little kind of shiny for me, but it was very, very heavy I found. Um, initially when I used this foundation and a little bit heavier than I like. So using the Beauty Blender obviously helps to sheer out the coverage, uh, make it, I don't know, it makes it look like second skin. Whatever foundation you're using, it makes it look fresh, like second skin and such a great little invention here. And I find that it's a pretty good match for the winter. I mean, I probably could wear it in the summer too. Um, but, okay, so foundation's all done. I did bring a loose powder today, because, I don't know, I felt like wearing a loose powder. And I've got my La Mer loose powder. This is the old packaging. I know they've reformulated it and upped the price and <laughs> gave you less. So this is the old one. So I'm using the Marc Jacobs, that like big brush that he makes, which is really nice. Just kind of patting that all in. I mean, I can go without powder with this foundation in the winter, probably not in the summer, but in the winter I can go without powder, but I don't know, I'm feeling a powdered look today. Okay, so that is loose powder, put that over there. All right, for the eyes, let's just throw on some primer potion here, just to prime the eyes. You know, I went the other day without um, putting this on and I was like, whatever, I'll just skip it for the day and see how my eyeshadow does. And my eyeshadow began to crease. I mean, some formulas still crease on me, but that stuff is like a non-negotiable for me. Like I just love wearing um, the primer potion. I think it does such a good job. All right, let me just get down to brows real quick here. Okay, brows are done My using my Hourglass Brow um, Tool, which is probably one of my favorite brow products ever. All right, so for the eyes, I, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do concealer at the end, or when I'm done with my eyes. Um, I pulled up the NARS Pot Concealer that I've showed before, which I'm really loving. And I'm gonna use the Busy Art Palette that I just reviewed on my blog, so if you want full swatches of this palette, head to my blog. And I'm using it in the shade Cashmere, it's the Theory Palette. I'm actually going to just blend these lighter, two lighter shades together, because I want the lid to be um, much lighter, and I don't want the lid to be too smoky. So just gonna throw on, this is the shimmer shade first, and it is quite a strong shimmer, as you can see. So that's why I'm gonna blend it with the kind of the bone shade here and it's a little bit more matte. So it just kind of blends these two together and makes it the perfect shimmer but matte. It's a little uh, light, 
actually now that I'm looking at it I'm like maybe I'll add a little bit of a darker color because I don't want the lid to be super super light I just want it to be you know not not super smoky um, though the um, look is going to be kind of a soft smoky maybe I'll just take kind of that other shade here which is kind of like a medium taupey shimmer and kind of just swipe that over yeah that just kind of makes it a little warmer and takes down some of that really stark white color that what it was kind of looking like and I'll just keep layering them together okay and let me see I'm still thinking it's a little I'm gonna throw the brown um, matte brown taupe shade yes that really did it so sometimes you just gotta you know I said when I reviewed this palette on the blog I said what I really love about it is I tend to use like all the colors in the palette because you can just like throw them all on your lid and they all kind of blend together. I don't know how that works, but it does. And they all tend to like, they're all in the same color family and the variation between all of them is, you know, not, obviously it goes from light to dark, but they look really nice um, layered together. Okay, that's kind of the look I wanted. I wanted a slightly warmer brown, but with some shimmer to it, some light shimmer. So, yeah. And then I'm going to take the Sephora, kind of the jumbo eye pencil. It's their colorful, colorful shadow and liner in taupe. And it is a shimmer shade. And I'm going to rim the inner corner on the inner waterline here. It's hard to do this and talk. And I'm going to just... And then just smudge it a little bit at the lash line. The reason why I love using this color as a smoky eye is because it's a little, it has slight shimmer to it and it looks really pretty. It doesn't look too harsh. And the shimmer adds so much dimension. And I just kind of like smudge it right into the waterline, but also I'm kind of running it, um, rubbing it along the lash line. And I just really love, I loved this look. And my eyes initially look really red when I do it, but they'll settle down. And I just think it's a really pretty, subtle um, color to put in the waterline versus like a traditional like dark eye, dark brown pencil or dark black. And then for the mascara, I'm doing the It Cosmetic Superhero mascara. I stopped using my new lash. I don't know. I just kind of went off it for a little bit and make sure my hair isn't getting into this. And you know, everyone has made comments to me over the past few months, how long my lashes are looking. And I just kind of noticed that they're, I stopped using them and they finally started to kind of, I don't know whether they're necessarily, I don't think they're falling out, but they're definitely not as long. I don't know what happens to them when you stop using it. They don't shrink, obviously, but I guess any new lashes that grow are not as long as the initial ones or the ones that were growing from new lash. So just know that. I mean, if you're using that lash, a lash growth serum, when you stop, your lashes are gonna go back to kind of being a little they're gonna go through a phase. Like right now I feel like mine are in a phase of a little bit shorter and they need to kind of grow back out to their normal length because they look a little bit shorter than they typically are. They look a little like stumpy, I don't know. Probably doesn't seem that way because my lashes are naturally long and you might be like, yeah Mary, whatever, your lashes are still long. And they are, but they're just shorter than what I'm used to. But I don't know. I. The lash, the new lash really did fantastic things for my lashes. However, they began to like touch my um, eyebrow and I was like, this is getting a little dramatic. This It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara is absolutely perfection. The brush, the formula, 
it is, you know what it is? The brush makes it so easy to apply. Sometimes brushes are like curved or, you know, I don't know, just have like a strange shape. I always pull the mascara off of the edge of my lashes because I have the type of eyes where everything smudges on me, uh, mascara wise. So it's definitely, I always kind of take off that last bit of mascara. And let me just add a little bit more of the, I'm adding these like two middle brown shades, just kind of blending them together and maybe just throwing that into the crease just ever so slightly just to add some definition to the eye. And then I have this powder from Makeup Forever, these starlit powders, show them on my Instagram live. I did swatches of them, but I brought one here today to kind of put on my lid because I wanted to show you guys these. These are so like intense shimmer. This is the Starlet Powder. The packaging is just not the best though. This is the white shade and it's very, very, I was going to use that, but I thought to myself, uh, I think that's a little strong. This is like a, a gold color. This is number, this is 13. This is 02. Okay. And I'm just going to dab my brush just into, oh my gosh, it gets everywhere. Just, I really wish they had better packaging with this. And I'm just going to put it right, oh yeah, this is right in like just my lid here, just to add some shimmer. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm sure you can, but wow. It is bold. This is such a fun shimmer though for if you're going out or you just want, I don't know, holiday look or a going out look, it's such a nice, really bold shimmer. I don't find that there's too much fallout. I think that it adheres pretty well when I pat it on. This is one of the new Anastasia uh, Pro brushes that they came out with. Anastasia, I mean, it's not the Pro brush, regular brush. This is A24. This is a gorgeous lid brush. I swear it like fits perfectly on my lid. Now, can you see that shimmer? Really, it's very strong, but it is so finely milled that it kind of just looks a little bit like liquid metal on the eyes rather than like a chunky, chunky glitter. Oh, so pretty and glowy and just beautiful. All right, we're doing the cheeks. We've got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette here. And let me just, okay, this was number 13 that I used for the um, Makeup Forever. The white one is number two. And let me see if I can do a quick swatch on my hand. I was having trouble showing it on um, Instagram Live. Look at that. That is, I don't know if you can see the shimmer. It's a little bit difficult to see the shimmer because it kind of blends into my skin. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of vanilla pigment from MAC, if you're familiar with that. It looks really much, it looks very much like that. Okay, the amb uh, Ambient Lighting Palette from Hourglass. As always, I use it to just base out my cheeks. Even though they have some powder on them from the La Mer, I like to put um, this to kind of just warm them up, up just a tad. And then I pulled out my um, Dior Nude Bronzer that I bought this summer, I think. In, it's a Nude Air Glow Powder in 02. So I'm gonna use my Tom Ford brush. This is the 06 brush. I think it's called the cheek brush or something like that. I don't see it at every retailer though. When I've tried to link it online, I only see certain retailers have it. And this powder definitely has some color to it. So I really have to kind of build it up and it does have some shimmer, but it is really kind of a nice, it is a tad orangey, but I don't tend to mind that too much but it's just a kind of kind of gorgeous glowy bronze, more on the warm bronze than it is on, let's say the kind of cooler tone uh, bronzer. It's not very gray. So if you're not a fan of like a little more of a orange bronzer or a warmer bronzer, this will not be for you. Okay, so we are finishing up here lips. I have the Kevin Aquan um, Flesh Tone Lip Pencil in Medium, and I have worn this before. 
I showed this on Instagram. I believe I, did I show this on a video? I can't remember. It's such a good one though. And it's pretty deep. It's not uh, like a, it's not a fleshy nude where it like uh, makes my lips look, you know, like skin tone, at least for me. It's a little bit deeper, which I somewhat like. And let me just blot it a little bit. And then I'm using Tom Ford Douglas, the Lips and Boys in Douglas. This is kind of a shimmery pink, and I am not a shimmery lipstick fan. However, I'm an exception for this color. This is such a good color, and on its own, it's really beautiful. Oh yeah, you can see a little bit of that shimmer. It's a little bit of like a, I guess it, you could say it's a gold shimmer. Though it is a little bit bolder, so I feel like it's a mixture of like gold and silver shimmer. And that's the finished look. You know, I brought another blush, the Gucci um, Coral Flower, just to like add a pop to my cheeks. Why not? We're here. I'll add a little pop so you can see. Maybe just a hint of pink. This is quite um, strong, so you just need just a little bit and just buff it out. So the whole look is actually pretty glowy and looks, you know, not, not disco ball glowy. Make sure lipstick's on my teeth. Do you guys do that trick with lipstick on your teeth? To make sure you don't have lipstick on your teeth, put your finger and just pull it out like that because any, most lipstick that gets in your teeth is like right around here in your lips. All right, so it's kind of like a glowy makeup look, not too disco ball glowy, but definitely like kind of a fresh, radiant, um, soft glow. But I love the soft, smoky eye. This Sephora eye pencil, I cannot recommend enough. If you have not tried it, I know um, a few of you have picked it up because you left me messages and told me how much you loved it as well. It is one of the most gorgeous shadow colors now it's a gorgeous liner color. Um, Sephora um, Jumbo Pencil in taupe. Must, must have. And you know, this Makeup Forever pressed pigment, these Starlit powders, I was kind of hesitant when I first they first sent them to me. I was kind of like, oh, these are super glowy disco ball. Like, what? where am I going to wear this? Um, but they're really pretty on the eyes, and I don't think that they're too dramatic. So maybe pick up one of them if you like a more shimmery, I, and I'm like fussing with my hair, aren't I? It feels very flat today. Probably because I haven't washed it in a few days. And then the Tom Ford Lips and Boys in Douglas. Gorgeous shimmery pink. It's one of the few nudes that I'm really liking. I have Bradley, which feels a little too dull for me, but Douglas is definitely my jam. So hope you guys like this look and I'll link everything down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. Love to hear from you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.